In this sketch, we'll cover urethritis in males, another non-life-threatening but oh-so-alarming sexually transmitted infection. We'll go over how to assess and treat these dudes with their, um, pants on fire. It's a beautiful summer day, and our two lovebirds are heading to the water park to cool off. Unfortunately, they must have looked at the wrong map, because they've ended up in what can only be described as the inflamed section of the park. These slides kind of look irritated and red and... Hey, what's that smell? Are they burning? Urethritis is an inflammation of the urethra, here symbolized by water slides, and in most cases it's caused by a sexually transmitted infection. We'll divide up the etiologies of urethritis into gonococcal versus non-gonococcal in origin. As you'll see shortly, both gonococcal and non-gonococcal urethritis share many similar characteristics, but there are some distinguishing differences between the two. From here on out, the water slide on the left will show features of gonococcal urethritis. The one on the right will show features of non-gonococcal urethritis, and the one in the middle will have features shared by both. First, let's start by going over gonococcal urethritis, which is caused by Neisseria gonorrhea. As you may remember, Neisseria gonorrhea is a gram-negative diplococci. Gonorrhea can cause upper and lower genital tract infection in males and females and can also rarely cause disseminated disease, called disseminated gonococcal infection, or DGI. DGI can lead to bacteremia, septic arthritis, endocarditis, and meningitis. In this sketch, we'll focus on its role in lower genital tract infections in males. Moving on to the slide on the right. Up to half of cases of non-gonococcal urethritis in men are caused by chlamydia trachomatis, which is a gram-negative obligate intracellular organism. This is an important feature to remember when we look at gram stains later. In addition to genital tract infections, chlamydia can also cause pharyngitis and conjunctivitis. Although less common, people can also develop a reactive arthritis after a chlamydial infection. 